Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'd like to welcome Misha Morrow and Jason Betts from the Archangels basketball team. Thank you for being here in studio. We're talking basketball. Yes. This is good. We found Thank some similarities you. on yes. camera. So tell me about this a new season, third year. Third what year. can we expect? We can expect um, growth organizationally. Uh, we hope to bring in some more players to help us to get some more wins on the, on the, on the scoreboard. Um, tough competition um, and just a love for the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think a lot of people in St. Louis, I mean, this is, of course, we call it baseball heaven. Everyone yeah. knows about baseball, but a lot of people don't know there's a very active basketball team, and, an, and in this case, a semi-pro team. Tell yeah. me about the league and how this sure. all fits together with the WNBA. Okay. There, this league is a women's blue chip basketball league. Uh, there's approximately about 50 or so teams across the country. Um, they've been around for like eight to 10 years. Uh, we play in the Midwest region. Uh, right now, there are seven teams. Uh, there are actually two in St. Louis, one that most people hear about, St. Louis Surge. Us, the Archangels uh, basketball team. There's the Illinois Shooting Stars, which plays in the Jackie Joyner Kersey Center okay. in East St. Louis. There's Kansas City Nuggets. There's Nebraska Stripes. There's Springfield, Illinois Grizzlies. Grizzlies, excuse me. And then there's uh, Minnesota Black Ice. And that makes up the Midwest Division. And so there are seven teams in our division, and, and the three of them are new. Four have been here for a while, and so we've grown this past year three new teams. And so we're going to play 12 basketball games in the season. Season starts at the beginning of the May, okay. and the championship games are played uh, the first weekend of August. And so, yeah, we're growing. This is our third year uh, uh, in the league, and we're happy and excited about that, and, uh, and it's growing. Okay, no, that's yeah. great. And Jason, you're the coach. This is Which yes. year is this for you? It's actually my third year coaching. Um, with the organization, my second year as head coach. Okay, and how? What, what's it like? I mean, what's what, I, I'm not sure as compared to your background if you've right. coached before. Well, what's I've, it like coaching? A I've started off team? coaching in middle school basketball and worked my way up the ranks. Um, this is my eighth year coaching total, um, and so it's a different level. This is this is semi professional women's basketball. This is um, the next level of basketball. Mm -hmm. We we a lot of players we got. Um, or looking to go overseas. Mm -hmm. um, all of them have played college ball of some mm -hmm. time at some point. Um, so the, the level of competition is, is really strong. Yes, um, and so I'm excited. I'm excited for my third year. Mm -hmm. I've learned a lot um, and growing as coach every day. Okay, yeah. and let's talk about the players a bit because as so you mentioned, they've all played college basketball. Yes. Are some mm -hmm. actually still in college? Is everyone out of school and it's kind of, they're juggling work and playing semi-pro ball? For the most part, all the women are out of school. Okay. Um, we prefer it that way so that we don't uh, interfere with their collegiate el eligibility. Um, the NAIA, NAIA um, schools are available to play semi-professional basketball, but any young lady that's playing under the NCAA, mm -hmm. they are not eligible to play semi-pro pro ball because it will jeopardize their amateur status. Okay. And so most of the women have finished their collegiate playing career. And so those are the women that we're looking for that still have a desire for the game. As Coach uh, Bet said, some of those women want to go over overseas and we want to be able to provide them with an opportunity to go overseas and play basketball. And there's only been a few mm -hmm. women, you know, within the Women's Blue Chip League who have actually uh, made it to the WNBA. So it's, this is kind of like a stepping ground mm -hmm. to get them into professional basketball. Now, my hope and desire is to be able to pay my women. That's, that's my mm -hmm. heart, passion, and that's my goal. And I plan on doing that one day. Yeah, because it's interesting because college, it's so intense for athletes. Yes. And then as soon as you graduate, unless you are that one player that yes. early on someone said, hey, you're going pro yeah. and you're kind of, you know, sort of given that pathway, it's pretty difficult. Do you feel like with some of the players that are they – is this is this meant to be that stepping stone, or do you feel they're kind of left in the dark after they graduate? Is this uh, you seem pretty, as you said, pretty devoted to wanting to help them develop professionally, yes. whether that's in the WNBA or not, or in Europe or not? It is. Um, I remember myself when I graduated from the University of Kansas, and uh, I was done my senior year, and I felt like I was playing the best basketball in my life. 
but I really didn't have any place else to go to play basketball. And I remember that feeling because it was very distinct for me. Mm -hmm. And there was overseas, and the overseas market wasn't, was not as open as it is now to Americans. And I didn't want to go overseas. Mm -hmm. You know, I would have preferred to be able to stay home and play somewhere, but there were no more opportunities for me, so my basketball career ended. And so, but now, you know, with the WNBA and the growth of women's semi-professional basketball and the Women's Blue Chip League being around the longest of any women's semi-professional basketball league, there are opportunities for the women who may just want to still play and then those who may want to go professionally. And so we're just trying to be a conduit mm -hmm. to help them along the way or whatever it is that they want to do in life. Mm -hmm. No, that's uh, that's really great. And that's yeah. great that you're, you've been able to translate that passion. We've got the information. Jason, thank you for, for being oh, here. We're going to, yeah, we've got that information about the season. We're going to take a quick break because when we come back, we're actually going to talk to one of the players. We're going to talk to Gwen Ellis. Uh, she's a player on the team, so stick around and we'll be back after this break.